What's down, my people? You're not tuned in to me TV. Now, we're going to bring you all the stories about the stories that we need to bring you stories about. You feel me? So, that's what we're going to do. Some stories might be good. Some story might be tragic. But, hey, man, that's how these stories go. I don't make it up. Now we getting into it. You feel me? So before, look, man, bang the like button. Bang that subscribe button. You see them on the screen. Yeah, them right there. Hit the like and subscribe, man. Hit that right there. Now we about to get started birthday. with our so I ordered this Bible from Amazon, but in reality, it's like a lock safe box. He don't know that what's in there. So y'all had to know I couldn't put the whole 10,000 in there plus the ring. So I have, I don't know how much thousands I got in there with the ring. But I have the rest of the thousands in my purse. Cause I gave him 10 when he came home to be great. So I'm gonna give him another 10 to be great. A straight up Happy baby. birthday. I don't blame you if you, you feel go. like the state don't care. I got you a Bible for your birthday, baby. You gotta, you gotta keep God first, baby. Read uh, John 3:16. Open the Bible. <laughs> a new ring, baby, and I got you 10,000, but I couldn't put 10,000 in there. Show everybody about your ring. Ooh, look at you. Yes. Let me see, baby. Ooh, look at my. Look at my neck. Yeah. I want to give you 10 in cash. I don't know what you're gonna do with you can do whatever you want to. 10,000. I don't know. Here, baby. And I got it in there too. The rest of it in there. You're welcome, baby. You're welcome, baby. Look. <laughs> Yeah, not at. My husband with new ice on his hand. I don't play with his bitch. I don't play with his fucking baby. I don't play with my Those real diamonds. Tell them, baby, we don't wear nothing for the diamonds, baby. Real diamonds. Yo, this yo, gesture, yo. You already know I'm back with another one with me TV 1.0. But all my people who new to the channel just tuned in just started watching hit that sub and show some love and for all my people who been here been watching i appreciate y'all man and like and share if you care you already know man the better feedback i get from these videos the more i'm gonna be dropping man the more i'm gonna be dropping these videos so y'all can understand and be aware of what's going on out here in this world i know all of us are busy we have our own lives, so sometimes we don't have time to sit down and watch the news. So some of these things will be unknown to us and some of these things will be very well known to us. But either way, I'm here to spread the awareness. So y'all keep banging that like. Y'all drop down in the comments. Y'all hit the sub and show that love. You heard me? I'm not going to hold you no longer. You heard me? Today, we going to have a young lady go by the name of the Shea. Stevenson, 36 years old from Dallas, Texas. You feel me? And before we get started, I'd like to say rest in peace and condolences to the family of the Shea Stevenson. She was very popular, very beloved, and very well known in the Dallas metropolitan area. She was an entrepreneur as well as a mother who would give her child everything. Not only that, she was the primary caretaker of her mother who had caught a stroke and she was uh, bound to a wheelchair pretty much for the rest of her life. So she was also the caretaker of her mother. And when you have somebody who is the sole caretaker of another individual and they are no longer here to do that, not just one individual, two individuals, speaking of her daughter and her mother needed her. And here we go. The selfish individual by the name of Michael Smith. Michael Smith, 34 years old. Now, I knew they was married for at least one 
year, right? Her and Michael Smith was married for at least one year. But the sister also says she realized some red flags in the relationship. Now, of course, all relationship has red flags. But when it comes down to being violent and very controlling to the point to where if you don't listen to me, I will get violent. When you have situations like that, that's or more than red flags, if you ask me. Way more than red flags. And that's why we should be always be aware without being nosy, you know. Or be aware without being intrusive. So, it's a lot of things that she probably saw. And the sister as well probably saw. But this is one thing I would say from observing all the clips and the video clips. And as well as observing the clip that I showed you guys earlier. Some women want things to work so bad. Some people as well. To where they'll do anything in their power to make that other person smile. But they not knowing in their mind. It's nothing they could do to make these people happy. And when you see a woman gifting a man ten thousand dollars multiple times she just trying everything in her power to make the relationship work this is a woman who you can tell love this man dirty draws but for whatever reason he probably felt intimidated because his woman was an entrepreneur because his woman was on top of her game now see some some men feel insecure they accept the gifts they accept the things from you as a woman but some men feel insecure when the woman is bringing home the bacon like this lady is bringing home the bacon you know what i'm saying this will make an insecure person think well if she's giving me ten thousand what else she doing what else is going on what else is so this is this is a bad thing for an insecure person now secure man this is the a great 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 thing for as a woman gifting me these type of things that she's gifting me and without me asking but to insecure man, this is a set up for tragedy because in his mind, he is not going to let nobody else benefit and get the things that he receives from this woman. So it was a situation that came about when the daughter called looking for her mother. She couldn't get a hold to her mother. So this calls for the, the sister and the friend to spring into action and start to to uh how could i say comb the city or canvas the city to try to find out where this woman was and they found her car with a big handprint on the window they found her car at her father's house in in a set of apartments that was known to be her father's house so they didn't find her there, but not too far away, they found her body. They found her body, one gunshot wound to the chest. One singular gunshot wound to the chest, so it was SWAT was called out to go to the last possible spot that the guy who's her husband, Michael Smith, was at. But when they got to that location, they realized that he wasn't there. He was not there at that location. So they eventually found him at a barbershop. They eventually found him at a barbershop and they subdued him. They got the video footage or whatever like that. But let me say this. She saw the red flags more than anybody. And I say that because she was the only one with him. So that's what I mean by that. And by you seeing these red flags, you got to run. But you got some people that are just so loving, so caring that it will get them in trouble. And I think these this is one of those situations. You got to remember, a person that's been through a lot, all they want to do is have love and settle down and have somebody they could build with, grow with, share with, love. You know, you wash my back, I wash your back type situation and it seeming like this was one of these people the shay stevenson was one of these people that wanted that and it just seemed like michael smith wasn't one of the people who was deserving of it you know what i'm saying and women ladies mothers be careful be careful now sometimes 
having a smart mouth talking shit and all that it it leads to a lot of arguments right and i don't think this was the case yes you have some women like that but i do not believe that this was the case at all but i tell you this protect yourself ladies and if you made it this far in a video man if you made it this far man hit that like man hit that sub and show some love I'm going to be leaving y'all with some video clips of the news clips, my bad, of the whole entire situation of family speaking on it and, you know, how they put together the whole scenario or whatever like that, you know. But I ain't going to hold y'all no longer. I appreciate y'all. If y'all stayed this long, hit that sub, hit that like, drop down in the comments if you care, like, and share. And if you show me some love, hit that sub. You already know, man, I'll be back with another one i appreciate all my followers i appreciate all the new followers old followers i appreciate the link to the cash app is in the description you hear me and i'm not gonna hold y'all no longer i appreciate the support but i'll be back with another one on me tv 1.0 yeah Daishi Stevenson was bubbly, always the life of the party, and always loving on her family, Three! making sure her 16-year-old daughter had it all, serving as a caregiver for her mom who had a stroke and is now partially paralyzed, and to top it off, trying to be the perfect wife. She did everything in her power to show him that she loved him no matter what. But her sister Jasmine says somehow that love was not enough. It was a lot of red flags. Red flags the family didn't catch in time. Police found Stevenson's body Wednesday morning. She'd been shot point blank in the chest. Police say her husband, Michael Smith, is to blame. Like, I just don't understand. I just want to know why. Why would you take my sister from us? Like, why? Family says they knew something was wrong Tuesday night when Stevenson's daughter called to say she couldn't get a hold of her mom. She never leave my niece, no matter what. She never leave my mama, no matter what. So she called her cousin Nita and they started looking for her. They tracked her car to these apartments where Stevenson's father-in-law lives. I seen a big handprint on the, the driver window. And, you know, I'm a criminal justice major, so I started trying to use like different contact clues. Then came a post from a community blog. It said that it was a lady shot to death, um, which was like three minutes from where we was at. When they got there, police confirmed the worst, and officers began searching for Smith. They tracked him to this home. Video shows SWAT outside. But Smith wasn't there. A short time later, police tracked him here to a barber shop not far from that home cell phone video captures officers taking him into custody. Just get away, get out of the situation. I don't, I don't wish this on nobody, nobody. Her family sending that message to anyone else who may be going through something similar. In Dallas County, 